Florida RV Super Show. This is the opening day. I know this is not a van, but you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for this because it's a travel trailer meant to go boondocking off grid for days and days. And we've got Sally from Airstream. Hey guys, this is Sally Gedick. I'm the product marketing manager for Airstream for the travel trailers. Only the best for you. <laughs> so what she's gonna do is kind of give us a little walk around and then I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the vans which are just down here. And again, what this is, it's kind of an option for you if you're looking for off-grid. Well, oh, get you dizzy there too much. So we're going to spin the camera around. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to have uh, Sally give us a, a walk around. It's been lifted. It's got this huge electrical system. And then we're going to jump inside. Hang tight. And there we go. All right. All right. What are we looking at here, Sally? This thing's a beauty. Welcome to the Trade Wind. This is our tribute to all of you boondockers out there, people who are looking to go further and stay longer off grid. This is our most electrically advanced trailer Airstream has ever come out with in the over 90 years that we've been manufacturing them. We've got a three inch lift kit with workhorse tires out here to help you get off those paved roads and go further out closer to your adventure than ever before. On the back, We've got a rear hatch option that has a slide down screen. Yeah, wait till you see this. This is cool. It's pretty much the best place to take a nap. Dine <laughs> Alfresco. Oh. Look at that. It opens up. Very popular option that you can add to this trailer. It's also a great way to, you know, have your gear come in and out. I talk to people who have to take oh, parasols with them, yeah. kayaks, skis. Whatever it is that you're trying to take on your next adventure, the rear hatch is a really great way to easily load that in and out. And really nice for Instagram pictures. Oh, at the Grand the Canyon. Best. <laughs> Doesn't get better than that. Great idea. Okay. And the electrical system? Yeah, the electrical system. Most advanced. We've got a 3,000 watt inverter in this trailer. The entire trailer is inverted. Every single plug on this trailer is inverted. Um, we've got 600 watts of solar and 810 amp hours of lithium battleborne batteries integrated into the chassis to help you stay off grid longer. You're able to run both the AC and the convection microwave oven with air fryer at the same time on this thing. That's cool. Pretty air exciting fryers. stuff. So yeah, you can go off grid and be comfortable. Let's jump inside. Coming inside. I love the color scheme already. Yeah, so this is our terracotta decor. We also have a field stone decor that's kind of like a, a beigey gray. Uh, all the laminates stay the same, but I'm really digging this kind of retro terracotta vibe. Yeah, it's, been it's super a fan awesome. favorite. Uh, this is a 25 foot trailer. So we've got our 25 foot floor plan in here. You have the convertible dinette that's up front, so you get an additional sleeping space. You can sleep up to five in this trailer. And again, this is the pop up window. So cool. There's a bug screen. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. magnetized, so it's easy up, easy oh, down. That's cool. Wind comes in, bug stays out. And because it's kind of off road, I'm just noticing, you know, kind of this wood green. Yeah. Just give it kind of an off road feel, right? Yep, it does. We've also got locking latches oh, yeah. on all of our uh, cabinet fronts That's nice. so that nothing <laughs> falls out during transit, right? Because yeah. you're going to be taking this thing on the road less traveled. On the road less traveled. Is that trademark? <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Smart TV up front. We also have a smart TV in the bedroom. This is really cool. So this is our um, monitoring system where you can watch uh, the the uh, solar charge that's coming in, um, whatever kind of power is being drawn from your, your battery system, and then also kind of monitor with the power draw that you're uh, taking out of your batteries, how yeah. much time do you have less left to stay off grid? So it helps you manage all of your power that's usage very totally. easily. Um, which you great job, Sally. Again, uh, it, it's very Airstream with the you know, brushed aluminum uh, ceiling, mm -hmm. very much a trademark, uh, and the big windows. Yep. Just what a great boondocking idea. It's part uh, of why these things last forever, right? right? I mean, you can't, this is not going to uh, corrode or get no. moldy. So we've got plenty of overhead storage, um, lower storage as well. Um, you would, this trailer does come equipped with an LP oven, but you can uh, elect to get the optional convection microwave oven that also does air frying. Nice. Pretty nice. So cool. Pull out pantry oh, with uh, that's beautiful. Yep, shifting storage drawers so you could get things organized for whatever you want to store in there. Um, you've huge got a huge fridge. Huge fridge, yeah. And it's up off the ground, so thank you for doing that. Yes, absolutely. Um, nice wardrobe? large wardrobe. Oh yeah. 
Those clamps are for the uh, table legs when you want to convert that into a sleeping place. Oh, that's smart. Everything has a storage space in yeah, here. Yeah, 100%. And even they've got the rounded mirror. Yep, full-length so, mirror. Oh, so nice. We've got the separate lavvy and shower in here. So you've got yeah. a full dedicated shower. So this is called a, a dry bath. So the shower is separate from the toilet room. Correct. Really nice. It is. I bet this is the most important room though. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. A lot of work gets done in here. Let me so, uh, sneak by you there. Here's the lavvy. In oh, there you can see uh, the oh. thermostat for your recirculating tankless water heater. Oh, that's nice. So that keeps cold surges of water from coming out. It's water's going to recirculate until it warms until up to warms the temperature up. that you want. No wa water wasted. There's a composting toilet option with this trailer as well. And this one's a traditional wet This flush. is a this is just a traditional. Yeah. yeah but you can do composting. But you can off do that. Right, right. To preserve your black uh, waste tank. Nice job. That's really cool. More Ooh, storage. Look at this. There's oh, so much storage man. in here. We've got twin beds. Storage, storage. Overhead storage. Again, all of them have those locks so that nothing shifts in transit or falls out. You've got storage under your beds. Um, you also have exterior storage that you can uh, access that are under both beds. You get more wardrobe. Now, this is a twin option. You do not have to have a twin. Um, you could elect to get a queen, and if you did the queen bed, it would be an east-west east orientation. West. It's really, I mean, just imagine, ladies and gentlemen, out in the, in the forest someplace, you're kind of by yourself, uh, you're off grid, and uh, pine trees, rocks, streams. Yeah. It's really, Can't really nice. Can't beat the panoramic views on both ends of this I know, trailer. Right? It's really beautiful. And what was the length again? Like 25, 20, 25 feet. 25 feet? Yep. Wow. Well, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to take you right down here to the van, so don't go away. Sally, thank you so much. Uh, retail MSRP on this? Uh, they start at just under 130 130 plus a truck. Okay. It's really, it's really beautiful. Yeah. It's a 7300 GVWR, so. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Okay, I know, right? Okay, let's spin this around. Uh, thank you, Sally. Appreciate that. I'll take that. All right. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Good job. All right, to the vans we go. Good job. Thank you. That was cool, huh? Yeah, that was great. Good job. Okay, to the vans. Hang tight. Get everything turned on. We're trying something different this year at the Super Show, and that's doing live streams. And uh, if you missed any of the stuff we did yesterday, we did uh, quite a few vans. So you want to go back and see those. We had a huge announcement with Coachman RV, um, where now Rover Van Gear is going to be uh, part of a package on the Coachman Nova. So you'll want to go back and see that. Uh, we're going to be at the Sunshine State RVs booth here in a little bit. And uh, if by chance you're watching this video stream live, we're going to have a channel meetup in about one hour at the Winnebago Travato booth. So you'll want to uh, see that. All right, let me show you some of these uh, these vans, because we're all about B vans on Go Small, Live Large. I'm gonna flip the uh, camera around. And I think we'll go see this one first. Um, Aaron and I did a video on this uh, in October at the Adventure Van Expo. This is the 19X. Yeah. It's on the short Sprinter chassis. There's a handle. This is the fridge. This is the bathroom, very uh, trademark with the uh, Airstream oval. Kind of curious it didn't have that in the other travel trailer we just saw, but really large bathroom. Here's your toilet tissue holder, functional sink. That is antifreeze you're seeing. It's funny, they have to actually you know, tape the toilets closed so people don't use them. And then this becomes a shower up here on the hook, right? So that's how that rolls. But really nice, solid piece. Does require a shower curtain because of the door. But again, just really nice quality fittings. Again, on the Sprinter chassis, this is the 19 foot. Not a ton of storage, as you might expect, because this is an adventure van. So, uh, a little bit of storage here. There's storage here, too. There's storage here, too. Yeah, right here, see? <laughs> But for quick, quick, quick grab. Thank you, man. Wow, look at you go. Nice job. And this 
this warning. Do not store material in this area. Because you will get electrocuted. But that's where you can put some stuff. Because that's what uh, that's where the Volta system resides, which is yeah. what this is right here. So this is a, a super powerful electrical system. They got an adventure van. So what they do is they provide this cargo netting oh, with a steel like brace. And uh, and that's where you kind of store things. So again, adventure van, huge oh, wait, windows. Your inductions. Right. Oh yeah, thank help you, ma'am. You're welcome. Are helping me out. I appreciate that. Anytime. And this then is my the, phone. Don't be taking my. No, phone. you're fine. <laughs> guys are working right and, now. And uh, this is the galley. So again, small because it's a small footprint. Um, it does have a microwave, which is nice. Love the oh, love little this. spice rack thing here. This is a Truma hot water heat. <laughs> love the mood lighting. Again, if you haven't seen the video we did with the um, with Aaron, he's the product manager for the uh, Airstreams. Uh, you'll want to go back and see that. Maybe we'll mark it right here later but this is a bug screen so you can have the door closed this bug screen here right ah, see that so this can be closed you got people out here pass through the, the food and the chow and the drinks and then close it for the bugs so pretty smart pretty smart let me show you outside quick howdy how are you <laughs> oh i appreciate it we're doing a youtube live you want to say hi to the folks I know. I just audience friend right there. Thank you for following us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, nice awning. That's cool. I love running into folks. They did a really nice job on the exterior, I think. Uh, this is kind of that rough stuff they spray coat on. Rhino tough, whatever it's called. Lights. No light bars up on top, so you could add that if you want. It's got the, the big old wheels. Running board. This is the Airstream 19X. This is probably water in. This is sewer hose, let's see. That's your shower. That's what that is. And illuminated, you see that? So it's illuminated on the inside. So if you're working in the dark, you can uh, see that. I'm guessing this, maybe it's power, because I see the little divot here. So I don't have the keys, obviously. There's a keyed locker here. Uh, this is probably, City Phil, smart plug. But if you have a big wallet and you're kind of off-roading, this is really a sweet rig. And again, Volta powered. So you got a massive lithium system. You can go for days on direct current, days and days. And uh, run the AC for many, 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 many hours. 19X by Interstate. All right, let's take a look at, what do you want to see next? Let's see this one, because it doesn't have a slide out. Give us a th thumb up if you're enjoying this. If you're at work, don't tell your boss you're learning stuff. Where is the model? I'm looking for the sign. I don't see a sign. Um, let's jump inside. I think that's where all the juice is. So this is a four seater, obviously. These spin around. Here's the, um, where the table would go. So on a pole pedestal, and then the table's right here. Imagine that. This is kind of if you want to, I don't know, bring a bunch of friends to the game, do some tailgating in advance, lots of storage. You know, the fit and finish of Airstream, whether it's a travel trailer or, I think these are Volt equipped to, this one is not. It's just an A game on their fit and finish. Here's table, that's a lagoon mount. Not a pedestal. Sink. If you have any questions, uh, comments, we can uh, take a look at those. I see uh, Warren, been to a transit trailer with booster shot. Okay. And Nomad Van. Uh, they have an Airstream. This is a drawer style. Oh, it's locked. There it is. That's kind of cool. It gave me a warning. Did you see that? There's a little locking mechanism here so it doesn't slide out. And it's a drawer style, which is pretty cool because of where it's located, right? Not a, lot, not a lot of options to locate that, so let's close that back up. We'll leave it unlocked so somebody doesn't pull that thing out of there. Um, here's a little thing here. It's probably a tip out. Yep. Illuminated. See how nice that is? Just a little extra touch, a little extra money. You're paying a lot, so propane on board. Nice. Fridge. I mean, it's a little sad you have to get on your hands and knees. It's kind of hard to reconfigure that, certainly with the seats here. 
But imagine taking your BFFs off to the game or something. Let's see, this is the most important room in the house. It'd be the bathroom. Pretty standard stuff. A wet bath, so the shower. Faucet becomes the, the shower. And, uh, oh, we just got some lighting turned on. That's cool. So I just have a vent. Do need to use the shower curtain because of the wood doors, but pretty nice. I do like the size of the sink and location. It's there, but it's out of the way. Uh, I personally prefer something like this versus the flip up and down. Let me know what you think, which one you prefer. And then back here, this is a powered bed. So uh, this comes down like this and folds this way and then meets the two, um, what do you call these? Uh, seats <laughs> sure scott and uh so this comes together so two twin beds pretty nice another table mount back here um cup holders windows the windows open and uh has another tv here and this again really nice touches with the mood lighting i personally which is a personal thing you probably don't need this extra cabinet really because if you didn't have this cabinet, it would be open space. It would go all the way back to the back. and just gives this a little bit more of an open feel. Huge cabinet, but I think if you kind of travel correctly, uh, you learn how to utilize the space you have, right? Let me know what you think on that. But they're just beautiful. I just love Airstream, their quality, their mystique. The branding, just a beautiful van. There's a TV up there. See that? Let's see if that folds down. Okay, we're going to jump into the uh, Atlas. It doesn't fold down. It's just stationary. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Yesterday we saw a... It must fold up. It looks like it does, right? I don't want to break it. I do see a, a mechanism here. You see that? See a twist. I just can't imagine this hangs in the area to get in and out of the cab so probably folds up that way which is kind of cool we did see a tv that pulls out of what's called the pizza oven um i think it was the arc if you haven't seen that video you want to see that let's just look around real quick so this is the interstate they don't have any signage or pricing it's kind of annoying so back here got a little bit of storage actually quite a bit so again a power bed so it goes down and rolls forward into the into the cabin. A little bit of cubbies, so at night. Again, illumination, see that? There's one up there. What do you think? Power, generator, exhaust. A clean dump. Who doesn't like a clean dump? So there's your controls for that. This is to wash port. This is the uh, toilet macerator. And then this is the uh, dry camping tank fill water situation here. It's really beautiful. No signage. Um, so they have got a new pop top. Uh, this is new. I have not seen this before. This is on the ramp. Oh, this is the uh, Ridge Line? Howdy. Sorry. This is on the Ram ProMaster chassis. So this was introduced at the Hershey RV show in 2021. We did a video on that. It was just introduced. Now they've had the addition of a pop top. Let me know what you think on that. This is the control panel, again, illuminated. Pretty cool. So a spray port looks like right here. Water in, Santee flush. Again, light, super cool. Waste tank, power. Again, on the Ram ProMaster chassis. Range line is what this is. So a little bit of storage in the back. This is what it looks like from the, the back view. Kind of a cross between a adventure van with some of this touch. It's got the nylon flooring, marine flooring. This is water fill, it looks like. Over here we've got venting. 
the bug screen right here. Mattress, probably we'll jump inside in a minute. So you sleep this way, which is a little unusual in a ProMaster. Manual crank awning. And then the awning connects here with arms, so you roll it out and then it uh, then you latch it to the vehicle. Really nice running board. Standard cab, seats do fold around, a spin around. Grab handle, a little bit of storage here. And here's the ladder to get into the cloud room. Great for kids, grandkids, and I'll park a few friends up there. Because you can travel four with three point seat belts and two up here. So travel four, sleep four. This is what I loved about the Ridgeline when I saw it first. It's got a permanent table with a extension. Let's see if I can get that deployed one handed. Hang tight. Oof. Um, right here. So this is a table that I love. And I'm liking to see more of these come back in vans. There was a big rush to the Lagoon table because they were less expensive. They took up less room. But I personally can't function without a table like this in my van that I've been traveling in. Now completed my fifth year of full-time travel. So good job, Airstream. And what's cool is it moves back and forth. So depending on what you need to do, it's got this rail. Uh, yeah, Warren, it is kind of a look-alike. Um, I wish Winnebago would bring this back into the Travato. Um, so a little bit of storage up here, which is nice. I'm not seeing a TV. We'll go look in the bedroom in a second. I personally am fine with that. Oh, those hinges are really, a lot of nice vertical surface here. You can decorate your van. Looking at the galley, the fridge is right here. So the really long galley, really nice sink. This is probably a power pedestal. Yep. A little bit of a Bluetooth speaker for sound system. Let's see if we turn the light on. Uh, can't figure it out. A little bit of cubbies. Nice. Well done. And storage down here. A little curious they put a button here when it actually doesn't open. <laughs> what do you think of that? Um, because the sink's there. Do they need the button? I don't know. So, kind of get the idea here. Lots of storage in the galley. Trash can. That was unexpected. And there's your cooktop. Definitely a trend there, seeing the induction cooktops. Got some hooks here for uh, coats. It's cold here in Florida today. It's about 55 degrees, which is much warmer than the rest of the country. But uh, again, the signature polished aluminum, really pretty, really nice uh, shower here. I love this tambour door, so it rolls around. What I do is when I am uh, parked, kind of decamp or whatever, I close this so I don't see my toilet, but when you are in motion, you strap it right here. But a really large, and by the way, no shower curtain needed because everything is waterproof. Here's the fold down sink. Actually, this is not bad. It's at a good height. Yes, it's over the toilet, which becomes a shelf if you're doing your morning routine. So you do your stuff here, and then it, uh, here's a little bit of a faucet right here. Can you see that? Will it come out, oh, it flips up. Oh, that's cool, flips up. Nice implementation here. I really do enjoy this. Shower controls. And then you kind of do your stuff, uh, rinse it, which, which is kind of cool because if your shower's here, you can use that wand to maybe really rinse this off good. So I'm really liking that. And when you don't need it, flips up out of the way. Traditional wet flush toilet. There's the water. Tissue holder. The only thing that would have been cool is if they put a window in here, but I get it. But this is really, really nice. Get a little bit of brushed aluminum here. Storage. Just a little cubby. This is probably a wardrobe. So yeah, so you don't if you want to hang shirts like I do, these are adjustable shelves, real nice. And swinging around this side, trying not to make you dizzy. Uh, again, storage up here. Microwave. I use my microwave probably every day. And then this is the um, fridge, Vitro Frigo. 
So just really, really huge. Tiny freezer, but you know, you can get some stuff in there. And then the bed, so this would be the bedroom. Windows on both sides, storage above, AC. So real nice, slat system, so it's a, kind of a Murphy bed, so this folds up, so you can move the mattress, uh, although it doesn't really, well it does fold in half. So then you can uh, take this and flip this up, so your bed gets out of the way, so it comes one long, um, one long hallway, and then this becomes garage storage down here for uh, grills, gear, dog kennel, and this again just kind of flips up. Don't want to mess with this too badly, but uh, you could probably figure out a way to have bedding on this on a regular basis, like what I do on mine. And uh, this could even become a work surface, so if you want to stand and work, that would be pretty cool too. Let me know what you think of this. I can't find any signage, it's just kind of annoying um, in terms of price and some of the specs. Once this post, we'll put the, uh, the resource link to... Uh, let me spin the camera around here for you. And we'll put the, um, the resource link. Let me know what you think about this. So the range line, really like this rig. Kind of a cross between the Solus and a Turbado, I would say. Um, really, really nice. Okay, with that, we're gonna sever this stream. Ever kind of scream. Uh, we're going to end this stream. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Scott from Go Small Live Large. If you haven't figured that out yet, really appreciate you watching. We've got more streams coming this day. Um, we've got uh, Pleasure Way. Probably go do that next. What time is it? Probably get that done. We're going to be doing um, Travado and Solos. We're going to be doing a Storyteller. We're going to be doing Coachman Nova. Uh, so watch for that. We're going to annoy your employer if you're at work today. But I sure do appreciate you watching. And uh, from Florida at the RV Super Show. Peace. We'll see you soon.